In this video, I'll show you how to create those smooth cinematic transitions using AI tools. I'm sure many of you remember all those YouTube videos from about 10 years ago when flashy transitions with masking and speed ramping completely dominated the scene. At that time, every other editing reel had one of these dynamic shots where the camera would suddenly push into an object, cut through it, and then we'd instantly find ourselves in a completely different place. When AI tools came into play, things changed. Runway introduced the start frame and end frame options, which in theory should have done the job, but let's be honest, the results looked terrible and couldn't be used in any professional context. But then came tools like Midjourney and Kling, and these really changed the game. With them, you can now create transitions that are not only visually impressive, but also smooth and polished, with a quality that feels almost cinematic. And that's exactly what I'll show you in today's video, how to prepare high quality transitions that will instantly make your projects look more professional. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. I start by preparing the first image in mid-journey. The concept here is a man with an expensive watch, and the effect I want is for the camera to dive into the watch face and reveal the mechanism inside the dial. Mid-journey generates several options, all of them looking pretty solid, but I choose the one that not only looks visually the best, but also has the right angle and composition for the transition to work naturally. All the prompts I used will be available in the link under the video. I then repeat the same process for the second frame, this time generating the inside of the watch, the gears, and the intricate dial mechanism. Again, I check several versions and pick the one that feels most consistent and works best for what I want to achieve. Now that I have both images ready, I feed them into the custom GPT Kling 2.1 video prompt generator. It gives me a few different prompt variations designed specifically for smooth video sequences. I pick one of them, drop both the start frame and the end frame into Kling 2.1 along with the prompt and set the animation length to 10 seconds. After a short wait, the result comes out and it looks amazing. This is exactly the kind of foundation I need, a strong base that I can easily build the rest of the sequence around. I now repeat the entire workflow for another shot. This time the subject is a staircase. The idea is that the camera should quickly descend downwards as if we're falling or rushing deeper into the stairwell. Again, I generate the base images in mid-journey, pick the versions with the most suitable perspective and send them through Kling 2.1 to create the motion sequence. The final output feels consistent with the first watch transition and it flows naturally, as if both shots are part of a single continuous camera move. And here's a very important trick. If you want these transitions to connect seamlessly and loop endlessly, you need to make sure that the last frame of one sequence is exactly the same as the first frame of the next one. By aligning the transitions this way, you can chain them together and create the illusion of one uninterrupted camera motion, even though in reality you're combining multiple separate animations. Once that's set up, I run everything through Topaz Labs to upscale the footage and polish the details. This ensures the final result has the sharpness and quality you'd expect in a professional project. At the post-production stage, I add sound effects from Artlist to enhance the motion and give each transition more impact. I also layer some additional visuals, apply color grading, and introduce a subtle speed ramp effect. The key here is subtlety. You don't want to overdo it, because even a slight acceleration makes the sequence feel more dynamic, while heavy speed ramping can quickly become distracting. I also prepared an additional shot. This time the sequence starts with a balloon scene from above, and then cuts into a close-up image. I connected the frames in the same way as before, using Kling, and the effect came out solid and elegant. But I also wanted to test how this would behave in mid-journey, so I repeated the process. For MJ, I actually used the exact same video prompt I had written for Kling, because I've noticed that Kling-style prompts often work even better in mid-journey than prompts specifically designed for it. Some of the outputs are really good. In fact, the camera motion in certain versions is a hundred times smoother than what Kling delivered. But on the other hand, there are also plenty of sequences that look unnatural and awkward. Some of them are so off that they feel almost like a joke, completely unusable for a professional edit. So in the end, if I had to pick the more reliable tool for professional transitions, Kling is still the safer bet. Mid-journey can surprise you, but it's inconsistent and harder to control. To wrap this up, 
AI tools are giving us incredible new ways to create transitions that would have taken hours of manual editing in the past. With mid-journey cling and carefully written prompts, you can produce sequences that look like professional cinematic shots and the best part is that you can chain them infinitely by aligning frames. The most important takeaway here is that there's no single perfect method. Each tool has strengths and weaknesses and the real magic comes from experimenting and combining them. Where one model fails, another one might shine and that's what makes this space so exciting right now.